People come to the Trove website or its user interface daily to search and find records of printed documents, objects or recordings physically stored in cultural organisations across Australia, as well as to digitised and born digital items. They access and critically engage with these items to produce new research into Australia's past and living history. The power of Trove is the very large size of the data that it aggregates. So often people uncover very large search results when undertaking their research, which it would not be possible for them to read or engage with themselves. For this reason, research can also be conducted on the data at scale. People use or create a variety of technological tools to interrogate very large data sets. The first step for this work is building a search. Creating, evaluating, refining, adjusting and re-evaluating a search has always been at the heart of research. When conducting data analysis, mapping, topic modelling or producing data visualisations or online tools for further exploration or public engagement, the methodology of building a search becomes even more important. Searches can be built in Trove's user interface using the simple search, advanced search, filters and search commands. Make sure you have a look at the Trove help pages for more information on these. We can also make use of the Trove application programming interface or the API for this work. So where is the Trove API and how do you use it? By selecting research from the main menu, you will find a great place to learn how researchers use Trove. And here is where you'll find the Trove API. This page has lots of help information to get you started using the API. And you can click here. Welcome to the Trove API. The Trove API is a tool you can use to experiment and explore a research question by building a search query. This application programming interface allows you to build a search in a different way to the Trove user interface by providing all the many available fields separately. You can adjust fields here to achieve granularity and great specificity with your search. You can see all of these different fields are separated allowing you to narrow, evaluate and refine your search parameters. It is also possible to search tags and comments here. You can then execute this search and you will receive a URL. This is the response from the server to your search query or a link to the search results of your research question. Your URL query can also be used with a range of other open source, proprietary or developed tools to import and analyse the data in many different ways. You are also able to download this response in JSON or XML and analyze it by running the code through various processes. You can also use this code when building your application, website, digital map, visualization, or other digital product. The possibilities for using it are endless. Anyone is able to jump in and experiment with the Trove API as an anonymous user. By using the Trove API, you are agreeing to the Trove API terms of use. When you are ready to use large data sets or for ongoing use, you will need to sign up for a Trove API key. To get your API key, you will firstly need a Trove account. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free by going to the sign up section on the homepage. Log into your account by clicking on your Trove username located at the top right corner of the screen. Go to My Profile and then For Developers. Here you will find a form to apply for the Trove API key. Researchers are using the Trove API in fascinating ways, so make sure you let us know at Contact Us. We can't wait to hear about your work.